Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench. Okay, and I'm going to tie uh, the uh, actually the male, you know, uh, companion of this uh, uh, through Creek and Queen, you know, which is very small like this. So that I'm uh, putting this uh, little you know sheet actually wing material. Uh, to show you a contrast, it's just a black, basically just a black, you know, a tiny uh, ant, you know. Uh, those uh, little guys are really poor, uh, uh, they are totally dominated by, you know, queens. <laughs> Oftentimes they just, you know, uh, washed away and you know, drowned, you know, in the Slough Creek, you know. And then, uh, but these small ones can be very important for you know catching trout wise you know uh, after especially after this you know uh, swarm is over uh, there are countless you know um, uh, uh, these are little males you know which you know couldn't you know uh, uh, hook up so to speak <laughs> you know hook up with those queens uh, after mating is over uh, these these little ones are uh, uh, you know basically washed away you know uh, on the on the on the creek through creek then um, uh, trout are still feeding on them you know uh, uh, when queen queens are present you know trout are basically you know galloping on the uh, on the at the creek but uh, when males are you know present you know uh, only males are present, I mean. Um, uh, trout acts like, you know, basically like a sipping midges. So it can be another technical fishing at the lower middle of Slough Creek. So uh, uh, this this little ant is going to be very, um, uh, can be uh, uh, very important, you know, as well as, uh, as important as this, you know, uh, queen. So let's get started. Size, uh, dry fly, hook like size 20 22 uh, I'm using a 22 for this video it's a very simple tie okay hook uh, 8 all I'm, uh, I'm sorry thread 8 all black attach from here 2022 I don't believe I have seen 24 I mean, uh, okay, I'm going to make a rear, you know, bump, rear gaster. Basically, just making a thread bit on here. Uh, thread, what, what did I say? Thread dumb, you know, building a thread dumb. It's kind of little kind of technique I have noticed is that uh, make a, you know, make a finite movement with the thread. That makes, um, that creates, you know, bumps, you know, much easier. Yeah, I'm getting there. Definitely, six saw would make the uh, bump much faster. But uh, to finish, it you know, it was needed. I think this is just enough. So I'm going to make you know front caster.
uh, black thread and then uh, you know that tripod on my camera is also black so it's kind of hard to see the contrast that's the other reason I'm <laughs> tying very slow here okay I think I'm getting there okay I do have I believe I do have this uh, you know uh, segmentation so I'm going to tie in this uh, hang cape and then basically finish with the uh, 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 almost like a wet fly because these males are going to be you know drawn and then like I said they're gonna be uh, trout um, uh, taking this as if like they are taking midges really so two tons enough We finish. There you go. And uh, to add some uh, gloss, you know, uh, effect, I'm going to use this uh, uh, Sally Hansen Harder's nail, crystal clear. It's like uh, you can apply with, you know, uh, uh, bodkin too. Uh, originally I did use cement but uh, I found this is very handy recently and handier than uh in the back too there you go Okay, I'm gonna let it dry so okay so how to fish I got a queen here I already put the uh, uh, I already put this um, uh, uh, dropper tippet you know tied behind uh, tied on the uh, uh, hook band you know with a uh, cringe knot and then I'm going to use this uh, one, one I use you know at the beginning Could have been my mistake that I used a <laughs> 3x tippet on this. <laughs> on the this one, it, it might be a bit hard for. Uh, there you go. Well, wasn't a problem. <laughs> So basically, fish behind this two fly system, you know, uh, behind the queen. Oh, uh, it it can be. Don't think I don't want it too long for this dropper tippet, probably 12 inches, 15 inches, 16 inches maximum, you know, longest. And then uh, fish like this because uh, these little males are just right behind mating like this. So um, I want to fish a bit closer on this one. With a final tippet, could be 5x. Uh, I may have to use 6x, but uh, well, <laughs> trout in the lower middle are very big and strong, so uh, I don't want to go too small either, you know, too fine tippet either. So, uh, 
anyway this is uh, through click and scanned you know mail so uh, I want to I suggest to tie uh, this is a pair definitely a pair queen and the male at the same time if you plan to fish you know uh, through creek in early September and then try to fish this you know uh, 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 flying ant you know mating swamp uh, these are the must so uh, I hope you enjoy it and then um, uh, get some tying you know uh, get, get, get some uh, tied up and then uh, if, if you have any questions you know uh, just ask me anytime. Again, I can't emphasize, you might need this a lighter one too. So, uh, let's see what's gonna happen this year in 2013 at the lower mid of Sulu Creek. Uh, maybe see you there. Uh, thank you for watching. See you later.